Okay. Okay. Uh, let's, hello, everybody. Let's call our recreation meeting, regular meeting to order Monday, June 6th at 7.04. Um, first, we need approval of the minutes. I move to approve the minutes. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okie dokie. Thank you. Um, committee reports? Okay. So, Margie, do you want to speak to music on the river at all? Um, I think from the last meeting, we have signed contracts with all the bands. We have the website up and going. The, um, the schedule went out in the town paper, so everyone should have that, and we're getting donations in, I'm assuming. That's usually how it works. <laughs> yep, yeah. yeah, so um, this is um, the, um, the new website. Um, the fee for us to have this website with the www.musiconthereriver.net um, website name um, was $192 and um, one time fee yearly it's a yearly and that will just come out of our music on the river account so this is the home page and then um, it will run you through um, our lineup um, if I start at the top of the page it will um, go through kind of a little bit of the history of music <coughs> on the river um, our schedule, um, parking, reminders of like how to make it enjoyable for everybody. Um, and then um, our individual bands. And um, if you go to our lineup, you can click on it. So for like Christine, you can click down, and if you hit play, you could hear what her oh, that's kind of cool. business sounds like. That's very nice. Yeah. So um, Alan Nero helped us with this, and he was, God bless him, he was so patient um, and really, really fun to work with. So um, in terms of donations, I believe um, we've, pulled, we've had um, $10,000 of contributions come in wow, so great. far. So, um, so far, so good. Uh, let's see. Um, I think this golf is pretty quiet right now. I think they have anything scheduled until later this I'm month. Aware. I'm out of touch. I don't know. Did they start the other <laughs> course? Not that I'm aware of. Oh, the add ons? They I don't, I don't did so. have um, the mats that we had from the playground that we pulled up, the rubber mats. Um, we reused and they um, were using those for tea boxes. Oh, nice. Nice. Good. Yeah. Mm, great. It's a nice way to reuse that stuff. Um, let's see. Kind of switch to that. Yeah, okay, so director sport, winter spring programs. All right, so winter spring programs, um, basketball, despite trying the patience of our <laughs> friend Travis, this, is, this season was a success, even though they did make you crazy, basketball. Oh. Oh, the boys. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I was the funny thing is I was looking at eighteen yeah, plus. I was looking at the eighteen plus going, what did I have to do with eighteen plus? <laughs> no, not this time. Um <clears throat> track club we had thirty eight participants, soccer we have ninety three this spring with wait lists. Um oh. dodgeball, family dodgeball, we had twenty to twenty five per night. Completely missed it. Oh, missed it. Oh no. Our That's all you talk about. <laughs> I know. And then it came Holy and cow. Like, oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, Abracadoodle, that's on an art program. It was 12. Um, what age is that? that? That was for, I believe, mm, one through first, three yeah, and first. fourth and fifth. Yeah. That's what we had. So we're trying to do it this fall. I just need to know, I need to give them a little bit of time at the school to know what their schedule is going to be and when the classroom will be available so I can schedule that. Because the art room is ideal to have that in. Um, we have, let's see. Um, boating class, we, I don't know if I told you, we had 22 sign up for boating class. Mm -hmm. um, and our boot camp remains strong. Our 18 plus basketball, that's probably 21 kids the other night came to that. That was, is pretty big. Um, spring soccer will be done hopefully on Saturday. We have a couple of rainy days, but if it rains, we still try to play. 
although we didn't have practice on Thursday because it was buckets for the mm. one hour of mm. practice. <laughs> so the rest of it, though, went really well. Um, spring programs, it really is mostly just soccer and really preparing for the summer. Um, summer plans. Um, we have um, the first two weeks of summer break are the Noises Sports Academy. Our numbers for the Noises Sports Academy are have met last year's numbers except for two sports. Two sports, cross country and basketball, are a bit behind, but the rest of them are right, and we still have a couple weeks to register. Following Noises Sports Academy, then we have six weeks of traditional summer day camp. And with the traditional summer day camp, we have met, we have had a set a cap of 100. When I worked here in like 92, we had around 90 to 100, I would say. When I started, we had 75 on average, and then COVID happened, and COVID was just mm -hmm. very different. I think we had 35, I think we had a cap it. Um, so we're at 100, mm -hmm. and we have a wait list. Um, our bus. Our buses for our field trips are all full. We have wait lists up to 40 mm -hmm. for a couple trips. So I'm waiting for the bus schedule to come. And if if it makes sense money-wise, like if I don't have to sit and like ask for extra money per participant because we pack the bus mm -hmm. like as much as possible to keep the cost of the bus down. Um, if, if we can swing it, then we'll have bring a second bus in to cover it. What is the cost of a bus? So it varies from trip to trip. It's okay. the amount of hours mm -hmm. that it is, but I think it's like 80 or 85 dollars. You buy one. And it's a half hour before, I know, and it's a half uh -huh. hour after that you have to have. So each trip is around mm -hmm. 400, I would mm -hmm. say, even like small trips. Yeah. It's just because they wait there for the kids. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. occupied. Yeah. So. Um, after um, this traditional, during summer camp, we have a couple other camps. We have Skyhawks in the program. We have um, um, CAS doing a soccer camp. We have um, a Lego camp. We have Abracadoodle. Um, and those, all those numbers are pretty good. I'd say the golf camp, uh, the tennis camp is, we only have one so far, but I think the tennis is kind of new for us. Mm, we have yeah, sports, that's so right. hopefully that will pick up. Um, for, for our summer camp, uh, let's see if I can pull this up. So I just um, had put out our summer day camp, our staff, our Meet the Flyer. Oh, I saw that. So these are the faces that are going to be with our kids this summer, and they're in very, very capable hands. Um, Corey's been with us for, this will be her third year. Um, and um, Melissa um, was a, a counselor years ago and is a teacher um, in Old State Brook. So um, we have a really good group. Um, the majority of our staff is returning. We have a couple of new faces, but a lot of them were CITs last summer. Um, we added two positions this summer. One is Isaac Mansell is going to be with us, and he is, this is Isaac, he is going to be doing, um, he's a, going to senior year at Penn State. He's going to be doing um, music and theater. And we have, here is Coach Nelson. He was um, coached our middle school softball team and our high school baseball team as a JV coach. Um, he has an amazing background in emergency medicine, and he will be our paraeducator. Um, we have a couple kids that are coming in that have some um, some extra needs, and I think um, he will be super helpful with Good. them, but overall for everybody yeah. at camp. He's going to be wonderful. Um, so that's kind of our summer our summer plan. Um, Can I ask a question about the academies? Yeah. If, if your kids are signed up for the morning session and the afternoon session, mm -hmm. there's like a half hour gap in between. Yes. Do you need to come pick them up? Okay. That would be cruel and unusual okay. for our family. <laughs> so no, they'll stay with us, and we'll have the kids that are volunteering, from the high school kids, they'll sit with the kids during lunch and supervise them while they eat okay. in the shady spot. Um, next 
And the uh, budget? Yeah. Go game. So budget, budget passed, so that was great. Um, I have to double check with Cindy Berkeo because Cindy um, helped us through the budget process even though she is um, full-time with Preston and not full-time with us right now. So I have to just double check with her and see if what truly we submitted ultimately was in the final wash coming out. But the good news is, is that um, they did um, the assistant rec director position. So that would be, oh, great. that is included. So Ben's been with me mm -hmm. since I started for 10 hours a week. Um, so we'll have a position for 20 hours. That'll be a combination of what Bev did, which was a lot of like collect, like keeping me organized with donations from Music on the River, any thank you letters, which I owe you one. Um, oh, yeah. And for um, like invoices and processing all deposits and stuff like that. She was great at that. So someone will help me with that. And then they'll also be able to help me with programming and coming up with ideas. Do you, um, flyers do you have someone or is there a hiring no, process? No, it's a little, oh, we're waiting. I gave kind of the description to Linda Zimineski to work her magic to make it fall into the format that they prefer. And then we'll be posting that position. Okay. That'll be 20 hours per week. So I'm looking forward to that because mm, if I'm not that. in the, because Bev works out of the town clerk's office and I love her. She's fantastic. But if any, if I'm out of the office, like my dad got sick and I had to run to mm. the hospital and like the tennis courts, like, these decisions had to be made, and it wasn't coming through my email, it was coming through my phone, so I wasn't really able to address that until the next morning. So that, that's a year-round? So, yes. That is year-round. So um, it would be nice to have somebody in there that can answer the phones and, like, get messages to me and uh, carry on the kind of process in there, help people with registration, stuff like that, if I'm not there. Um, we have things that, um, I think that was in the budget stuff that's important to know. It looks like there's still in the budget um, the money to add two climbing structures, one right. to Nichols and one to the beach. So um, I'll kind of, once I get through like this next month, I'll try to address that once we're in the fiscal new year of July 1. Um, <clears throat> um, get rid of any other things that, um, so budget stuff. So we had talked about the grant, and I applied for that grant, and we weren't. Mm -hmm. I was not mm -hmm. successful in the grant, so I'm sorry um, that ours was not accepted. Um, there were 370 applications, and 200 were accepted. So we weren't one of them. The good news is, despite that, we are able at this point to give 75% um, scholarships uh, to families that applied. So we can cover 75% okay. of their camp fee um, if they kind of met the criteria of the program. And um, that a lot of that is the, uh, the Lucas Breton Scholarship Fund that people are very generous in donating to, and Youth and Family Services contributed $3,000. Oh, wow. So they are awesome partners. Um, we do a lot together, whether it's Project Faith Halloween or Project Jingles or Moodis on the, you know, Family Night on the Screen, whatever it might be. They are really, um, and we've been working together to make sure that we're not missing anybody with scholarships, um, that we're not duplicating, like we're trying to work together on that. So they, they are awesome. So um, many thanks to them. Um, let's see, I think we can move on. Okay, so what unfinished business do we have? Nothing. Good. Ah. Moving, moving right along to new business. All right, so new programs. Um, in yoga is back to in person at the senior center on Sundays. I know that you can't wait. What? Wait, what? Yoga. Yoga. So it was full. There was um, 12 oh, spots good. and 11 people signed up, and we kind of left it that way. So if there were any drop ins, we would have comfortable spacing there. So that was really well received. Um, I think um, we're trying to do more open gyms this summer for ages um, 13 to 18. Um, and that will be primarily on Tuesdays and Thursdays from like 1 to 3. So we'll see how that goes. It's usually very, very easy with the high school kids. I might actually have a couple 
couple of extra dates for the high school that are like more 15 to 18, 13, you know, 13 maybe sometimes needs <laughs> a little bit more supervision, um, trying to mm -hmm. work through, you know, kind of playing together nicely in the sandbox and not getting their feelings hurt and all that good stuff. And so um, the high school kids are easy peasy. Um, let's see. Um, Facilities update, um, tennis courts. Tennis courts are, um, are open and ready to be used. Um, we have um, a, I was approved to purchase, that we were talking about a hitting board so that you can, if you're just by yourself, you can practice it. And that's mm -hmm. really, really helpful for, um, especially for like a camp or mm -hmm. clinic with kids. So um, we ordered that. Um, but that's everything takes a, takes a little bit of time for that to come in, and that delays the um, windscreens because they have to install that board and then put the windscreens around it. So um, it's funny. I feel like I learned in this process that you'll you'll make a decision like, oh, what a great idea to get those boards, and this is. Uh, but like now, which size do we get? <laughs> Can you um, use the boards and still use the courts at the same time, or is, it, is there not enough room to do? Is that, um, they're all in the same. You could use one of the courts, at the, right, but okay. not the other at the same time. You could use one of the one of the four, three of the four pickleball courts too. Okay. So, you know, you have to decide the size mm. of it and where to put it, to put right? It. So I'm like, oh, where to put it? I'm like, well, <laughs> so I had some thoughts. Like, I'm like, well, maybe an extra barrier um, between skate park and that would be good, but then it was the sun. sun. So you can't change the sun, so you have to do it on north or south. If you do it on the west, that fades the quickest because there's sun going east to west. And I wanted it far enough away, like I felt bad for like the houses across the street. Like, boing, 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 boing. Like, that would get annoying. It's okay, I live next to Legion. All I hear is tank, oh, tank, tank. Yeah. Bottles? I'm like ready to go. Composite, you want to go to like Woodbats? Yes, well, I don't know. <laughs> Dang. But maybe. Yeah. So, like those things, like that sounds, mm. um, but I'm like, I have to live with whatever we decide. And like everyone has an opinion, mm. right? And I'm like, so hopefully we don't get too much um, disappointment in where we select it from. But if you're looking at them from the building, they'll be in the um, first court far side. We couldn't put them on the near side because there's no fence all the way at the bottom because of the retaining wall. So, like so the using the place. courts, is it just drop in and you just go and hope the, there's a court open? How does that work? And pickleball while we're at it. Yes. Mm. So a couple things on that um, that will, I'll show you. I just have my pictures in here, so it's easy for me to scroll in here. So. Um, so these are the courts. Oh. So these lines were a discussion. As you can imagine, originally we were going to be yellow, and they said blue would be better. And I'm like, oh, sure. And Who's oh. they? Court people said blue would be better? Yes. Who doesn't like it? Um, the oh. court people. Oh. <laughs> okay. What? So, who doesn't? What do you mean? Who doesn't players? like it? Wait, who? No, no, no. This is the, the permanent line. So yeah. I had to decide what color paint they should be. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, well, they do this all the time, right? Like, I'm like, yeah. label sounds perfect. <laughs> yeah. right? they oh, put it in, my right? gosh. So um, <laughs> it ended up being perfect, but there was some trepidation regarding it not being yellow, but we we have recovered. We are all good. <laughs> but let me tell you, there were moments. Did, who, who compl the players complain? Oh, yeah. It's all good now. It's all good. <laughs> it, it, when it came to reality, it was great, but the idea of it was a little scary. Yeah. Are the boards time. going on either one of these fences or are they on the sides? So this is right here is where that board will go. Oh. So this is the building right where we are. Okay. Right. And then this is Wigwam, and that's... You can't, um, you can't put them here? On this, these areas there? No, you can still use the boards? because the retaining wall Oh, that's there. what you said. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where's, yep. this, where's the skate park? The skate park is over, over here. Over there, right? Yep. So, the board is on the same. No, the oh. board's over here. Skate park's over here. I'm thinking about the house 
No, the house was over here. So there's not. That's not going to bother you. You put the board in the middle of the courts, though, on that fence? Because it's right. <laughs> Two reasons. One, you kind of want to have it lined up with lines a little bit, kind of, sort of. Hmm. But more is because of the size of the board, it would never be in the middle. Is it, it would always be you, really skewed. Is it it's both courts? There's two feet on each so side of the posts yeah. that is it would extend, and it would go over three posts. If one person was using that, you wouldn't be able to use the yeah. other court. Right, exactly. Right. So if you had somebody doing that, then it affects mm -hmm. everybody playing. Damn. Is it up yet? The board? Yeah. It is not. Okay. Don't even. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to paint a nice mural on there, no, I'm going to say? No, I'm afraid what you're going to say. No, I'm going to say, on this side, there's nothing, right? There's no houses. There's a retaining wall. There's a retaining wall without a fence at the bottom. That is why it we can't, can't go put there. it there. Mm -hmm. All right. That was I the was, first choice. That was the first choice because mm, it's the north side. Because that, our neighbors weren't a big fan of the skate park with the noise and all that and I said well now we're going to add on boink boink I honestly, boink. I know I honestly don't They're anticipate that being put a sound system ass. out there huh like put yeah. sound, a sound just system give my, just give me my email address <laughs> <laughs> oh I will <laughs> No, I, I was trying to help them, you know. I know. I was trying to help them, and um, I was trying to not have it. And we crazy. can't go, and you can't go to the other side. Yeah, oh, so if you go here, you're looking in the sun. Let's do it in the dark. Yeah. Oh, no, no, they're not doing lights. Install it. <laughs> install oh, it, install it in the dark. So yeah. <laughs> hope it doesn't make noise. Is there a shed out there or something for the nets for the pickleball? So there's not right now. So I'm being the eternal optimist that the nets are going to be okay. What we're talking about doing is, one, the nets are zip-tied so that you can't just take them apart. Because some people are like, oh, they're really they're nice pickleball nets. I'm going to take them apart. But you can't take them apart easily. Um, two, I'm just being optimistic that everyone's going to do the right thing and that they'll be all right. We're talking about locking the courts up at night. The problem is, is that there's the have some we can't there's nobody here on Saturday and Sunday haven't um, you learned from past experiences that that won't be the case all right shush so <laughs> I'm just the police, trying the police right? aren't here on so Saturday the first Sunday? thing on the please. docket is to um get a shed with a mm -hmm. lock or do we put um a lock on and give a combination but then not everybody, like if you, someone just came to play and I'm not in the office, mm. they won't have access to that. Who's going to put the nuts away in the shed every night? That's, <laughs> well, so the idea is like, then do you have the nets this, like, mm -hmm. not together, tucked away in their bag, and then if you want to play, you have to pull them out, put them together, take them apart, put them away, and lock them Play away and bring your own net. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah. the court, you bring your own damn net. Yeah. So it's yeah. not going to be perfect. Mm. They, couldn't, they couldn't make like a permanently, you know, retractable net. Well, I'm yeah. saying like a. Chain link. It's in the middle of a tennis court. Tennis court yeah. no. Because there's a, there's a pickleball mm. court on each side of the tennis court. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, what you say is you, you have the post somewhere and you can pull it across and hook it up, and when you're done, you. Retract, back retracts back in, and pretty well, sure you'll have posts somewhere, but yeah. that's not an option in these types no, of things. Not really. Did, did, yeah, you yeah. Put big cameras. It's literally well, the right next to the police station. There. Yeah, the police station the door police is right station there. Too, yeah. And the police station's right there. <laughs> the <window> so, <laughs> so I'm hoping uh, we'll lock them um, like Monday uh, through when we have well, staff here. Well, here and, and here's the thing: every, every time you see a photo. The cops put it on Facebook anywhere. Do you know these people? No, nobody knows these people. That's why they're <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're here stealing stuff. Did we yeah. order the board yet? The board is ordered. How much was it? Thrown it. It's um <laughs> What's it was eleven five. And we had eleven hundred? Is it returnable? Yeah. And no <laughs> And we had the funding set aside from the tennis courts yeah. um, for um, the crack repairs that we didn't do because there wasn't a point in repairing cracks mm -hmm. that weren't going to make it safe and playable. Um, but there might be leftover funds in a municipal building fund to cover that. I'm just waiting to find out. But we ordered it because between the two of us, we did have the funds to cover it. Um, 
And again, if we're going to put it in, I'd rather do it from the get-go so it, mm -hmm. it fits correctly, it's installed right. correctly, it's all a seamless finished product. So. Are the windscreens going all the way around? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, okay. And then we have pickleball rules um, and tennis court rules. That I got to see. You ready? Yeah. Ah. That I got to see. Well, you do a lot, so. Huh. Dad. All right, pickleball huh. rules. So these are on corrugated um, signs that are posted on the um, fence right now. Mm -hmm. um, so they were $121 for two of them. We didn't do metal because I foresee we are going to learn stuff mm -hmm. over the next couple of months of what works and doesn't. So then when we do the permanent ones, we will do it then. So these are the rules. Um, open John's Hill desk. Um, You're lucky that pickleball and tennis are respectable sports because that's a lot of reading for people. It's that a lot. <laughs> this is condensed. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's condensed. Um, these, are, these are the big things. Mm -hmm. Courts aren't open for drop and play in a first come, first serve basis unless we have them reserved. And <clears throat> these were vetted by pickleball and tennis players. Um, everyone had a little input. Um, pickleball is limited to 11 points or 30 minutes, whatever comes first. The long game of pickleball. It is a long game of pickleball. <laughs> that would be a really long game. So it, the um, reserve basis is at the program that yeah. we run. Yeah, the, we, yeah, we had a program or like camp or something like that. Program right. times and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we don't have a tennis thing yet. No, not yet. Okay. So <laughs> there's a there is a paddle system for pickleball. There is generally an accepted accepted paddle rotation in tennis as well. Like for people that are coming in and wanting to use the court. So, um, and there's lots of, as you can imagine, there's lots of no's. How big is this board? It's, it's, it's really big. It's like three by two. Three feet by two feet. What? It's just oh, like this. Is this like, I mean, you get the, this okay. is like typical board? rules. I don't know the sign. This three feet by two feet. These are like typical rules for tennis courts mm -hmm. and other towns and whatnot. Yep. I took it from like a bunch of yeah. like neighboring towns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. Online. Yep. So that's how they do it with the times and yeah, all that. Yeah, so we've okay. already had, we had to ask a couple of skateboarders, mm -hmm. even though there's a big sign there, yeah. that please yeah, that's, not go that's, on there. Yeah, that's good one thing that would take um, But overall, they've been good. We put some umbrellas over at the skate park the other day um, to give them a little bit of shade. They were really, they, were, they had trouble because they, um, they had lifted up, and they were really, really great. They were helpful and um, okay. took good care of them. We, so that was good. Okay. So yeah, those are the rules. Um, I haven't gotten any complaints yet. I'm hoping that everybody mm -hmm. can can figure out They're how to work it out. But you know, not everybody acts like adults all the time. So, but so far so good. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. Um, other things that we've um, we've done for facilities: the walkway over at Nichols Field that's been repaired by Ballix. How'd they do it? What'd they do? They ended up doing um, kind of like. Um, Oh, yeah. Yeah. So um, that was done. Um, we have pipes at the dog park for <laughs> as um, yeah. some obstacles. Got that in my yard, finally. <laughs> 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 they, they, so you don't have to thank me. You don't have to thank me. That's fine. So thank you. Thank you very much. The big old pipe from there, and thank then you. there's two other smaller ones. And they placed them where they wanted them. Uh, like we put them they there. They secure them in place with like rebar or something so they're yeah. not going to roll around? Good. Yep. Um, mulch, a hideous amount of money spent on mulch. I can't For where? Dog believe. Park? Um, Nichols, Nichols oh, and geez. the beach. Oh. Um, I guess it's now that we've done a really big one every year, we can, it will be a mm. much smaller amount. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long, it's been yeah. probably like two years since we've done it. Did we use recycled one. tires or cedar? What would you, what'd you put for chips? Oh, there's special chips you need to buy for a playground. Oh, yeah, non-toxic, environmentally friendly? Mm. Yeah. yeah, 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 all that good stuff. So, Sharp edges? Mm. Comes out, it comes out of the chipper hopper and goes in the bag. That's so special. I will be working on <laughs> making mulch. as a mulch maker. Um, so umbrellas are over um, at the 
skate park, uh, we, so our new swings, um, like big like swing seats, are going over to the town beach because those were getting a little beaten up. I think those are the big the big things. Um, right now, we're just going to hold on the multiplex idea behind the um, beach. The beach building. Mm -hmm. I want to see what happens with that climbing unit and where we can put it. Um, Is it going to be one of those like spider tower yeah. things? There's one that looks like um, kind of like a pirate ship, so I thought it'd be kind of cool. It's Ooh. colorful, mm. kind of like nautical. So we'll, we'll we'll talk about it as we get closer to that process and have some choices and see what would be a good fit there. Um, let's see. We should have a little kids voting contest. Mm. Mm, that's a good idea. I like Since that. they're the ones using yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Send it to the elementary school with some pictures yeah. and let them yeah, yeah. vote. Yeah. That's a good idea. Um, Washed our hands of that one. <laughs> <laughs> then you got to tell them how much it's going to cost them. So if you yeah. don't like don't it, you have to go to all the kids each, at the elementary school each, and complain to them. Each, maybe you don't each, like it. Now each vote costs a quarter. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dollar to vote. Um, so the last um, thing before we get to uh, the beach is the open space representative that um, we had talked about the last time. We need to make that formal. And Travis, are you still in? I guess, yes. Okay. So we're going to make a motion to have Travis be our open space representative. Okay. So it's uh, awesome. Uh, it's a conservation commission. It's a conservation Conserva is it? Is it? You tell me what it is. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. It must be open space. says open it's space. Open I'm space. just reading the lines. Back. Right. All right, so Margie. I second. Okay. Uh, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Travis, good job. Oh. You're the Thanks. man. You're the man. Thanks for taking one for the team, buddy. Yeah, good job. I want to know what number C were. What number C was going to be? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. That was me resigning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry. Delete. Yeah. Sorry about that. All right. Um, Free time? When, when are there meetings? Monday. Well, Monday you Monday. signed up and have no idea. You can even no, call we, we, one. I, I, we've I got all these it. places that have Monday yeah, meetings, those. and it's... <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll, I'll find out for you. Yeah. I'll confirm that again. I'll get the... Shoot me an email. Uh, I think I did. Yeah. Shoot me another email. <laughs> yeah. Look in your deleted that. folder. Shoot me a phone call. <laughs> All right, so now we're on to... We're on to the what? Uh, Non-resident fee? Yeah, so the town okay. beach. So the town beach has been... Um, I don't like more challenge in the last two summers, I would say, in particular. And I kind of hope that it was just COVID madness. Um, but it's just um, every year it just seems to start earlier and I want to make sure that we try to address things early this summer. I have five lifeguards over at the beach. Two of them are brand new. Three of them were with us last year for their first summer. Ideally, I'd like to have six lifeguards, mm -hmm. but I have five. Lifeguards are in very, yes, very everywhere. high demand. Yeah. It's very difficult to find them. And I have awesome them safe and I want us to have a place that the residents are proud of mm -hmm. and are um, feel enjoying safe. and feel good and feel good about it and feel safe and mm -hmm. um, so I know that we have some guests here I don't know if you want to speak now about what your concerns are um, or you want to I'll wait I'll wait, I'll wait. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, so I was over there um, Monday was our first day because Saturday and Sunday we didn't have staff because two of our kids were taking the class. SAT, uh, oh, they're okay. taking the certification mm -hmm. class and one had a basketball tournament. So um, Monday I went over there and the first thing I was greeted with uh, had nothing to do with other people using it, but we had a little staff room in communication and there was some trash that was left by some um, cleanup. And so I had to try to find a home for those mm -hmm. things to get them out of ice, eyesight. So that started with a started with a bang. And then um, later that afternoon I got the phone call that one of our one of our I think seventh or eighth graders left his bag on the table and it was stolen. Um, I had just shown the lifeguards how to take how to pull up the camera footage and, mm -hmm. and take a look at it. And so they were able to call the police. Um, 
and share that footage with them. Um, was it definitely somebody from out of town? I can't be 100% mm -hmm. sure, but like know that, but I've grown, I grew up here, mm -hmm. I live here, I've been involved with a lot of things and people, and I don't recognize them. Okay. I didn't recognize probably anybody there, or mm. maybe one of my families. I have a question. Can we put some kind of lockers there, and you bring your own lock for the day? Mm. That people can put stuff away and, and know that it's okay for the time they're there? And we could. It's just a half thought. I don't know. Just we could. Um, it's something that we can look into. I just think right now, like, mm, yeah. Kim and Asset doesn't have stuff like no. that. Like, you mm. put it at your, your, mm -hmm. your yeah. bag. So, I am not going to put this on an eighth grader, right? Like, no. you should be able to leave things and know that they're going to be okay. But sadly, mm. We're not in that place at this moment. And like, if I go to the beach, I don't leave my stuff. I, I have somebody sit there with it. But that's not what we want to be mm. the case here. And so, um, anyone can steal, right? It can be mm -hmm. our, it can be our next door neighbor that did it. But um, I think I don't see somebody speaking to this kid because they spoke to him. They knew who it was. They knew it was his stuff. Oh. They knew it was a child and still took it. Like, I can't mm. see our neighbor doing that to the kid. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I guess they could, right? Anyone mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. um, but aside from that, like, we've had issues with trash. I've gone over there and picked up Popeye's containers and dirty diapers. And I was there for a couple minutes, and I had to speak to two people about grills, um, that there's no grills, no open flames. I had to speak to somebody about their boat can't be pulled up and parked next to the swim buoy. That, that boat's not even supposed to be 200 feet within the... Correct, right? To the swim yes, buoy. So was someone camping that. there, too? They were... Um, so what I saw was that it wasn't overnight. That doesn't mean... I don't... Mm. I mean, I live nearby, but I don't mm -hmm. live across the street. No. Um, I don't believe it was overnight. I think it was during the day for shade, but... At, I went over there at 8.30 at night, and it was still there, and that's when I called the police to come over and um, and to, to address it. I, I'm, I'll admit, I'm, I'm what 48, was there? but I'm 5 feet, and I really didn't want to confront somebody <laughs> at 8.30 yeah. at night in a tent. So I called the police. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, yep. um, even, even when you're big and scary, you don't want to confront no, people. Because no. right. you never know what they're doing. Right. You don't know if they're on drugs. You don't know if they're... Unstable. Mm -hmm. That's not your job. So that was um, that was Monday. Yesterday was a good day for the lifeguards. They had a quiet day yesterday. Um, but it's hard to have two. Generally, we have it staffed that we have two. Like on Monday, we had two kids, ten to four. Their focus is the water. Their focus is the parking right. lot. Yeah. It would be great if they could also, but a lot of it's happening in that grassy area on that side of the parking lot. And how lot. old are these kids, too? My these kids are watching. They're um, seniors and freshmen, just finished their okay. freshman year of college. So they're not no. 20. 20 right. is our oldest. Right. Um, so they can't watch the water and make sure that that's safe and address right. the parking lot, too. Right. Um, whether it's trash over there or it's boating issues, a, 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 a tent that's blocking access to the kayaks, right? Like those two kids, like what are they gonna like? Mm. What are we gonna do? Right. So um, yeah, yeah, it's true. If it's off the beach, it should be a town official's responsibility. The whoever's on duty officer. Yeah, so, do they do they drive through there and patrol it, or are they? No. So we're, so I've been driving through this town my whole life. And I can't remember the last time I saw an officer on duty anywhere. Just speed a little. You'll find, they'll find you. <laughs> yeah. So we're working on it. I spoke with um, Michael oh. Zaki with Animal Control on a different perspective. He's going to be popping. The Animal Control is going to be popping over um, at least, hopefully, at least once or twice a day. Um, police are going to be popping over after, do um, after dusk and during the day. So we have, what kind of powers does the Animal Control officer have? No, it's more for like leashing stuff and oh, for mm -hmm. um, take a report. Um, like, like if, if we're having issues with leashes not leashing in the driveway, which is it's it's a problem, but it's we're not. I think there's other bigger ones that we have to deal with. But when, if we're going to deal with them, we'll just deal with everything right. at once and get the, mm -hmm. everybody that we can involved to try to 
address what's going on. This is all usually happening on the weekends? I know you said Monday, but in summer's coming, so. So generally the beach is busiest on the weekends. Mm. Um, that's generally, I think, when we have majority of, mm -hmm. of issues. Um, so what we need to discuss is how part of the problem is, is that neighboring towns all have policies mm -hmm. in place. And they vary. They're all over the place. So I can pull up um, that one. So it's kind of all over the place in regards to how other towns handle it. Because we don't have a non-resident policy, whether it's a fee or not allowed at all, I get phone calls from Newington, Windsor Locks, Wethersfield. Oh, wow. Do we allow non-residents to use the beach? Um, I got the phone call from Newington. It was, well, it's closer than going all the way to the shore. Because we don't have a policy, mm -hmm. we're the mm -hmm. only option for a lot right. of places, or for, for a lot of residents. And it's not people. that big either. And it's not that big. So East Hampton. I'd like to probably go through and see what other towns do, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you guys? Mm -hmm. All right. So East Hampton, from their leadership, the reality is that the park is not restricted to residents only. However, by rule, only residents are allowed to drive into the park because only residents can receive a parking sticker. Similarly, only residents can purchase boat launch passes. That having been said, these restrictions only work when we have a person on site enforcing the rule. So um, a parking permit is required. Um, residents can pick that parking permit up with proof of residency. So technically, you can't park there, but you can use that as a non-resident. So you can't park there. So that's what East Hampton does. Um, so what happens if there's a non-permitted car? Do they tow it? They give a ticket, is my understanding. Or they don't, if they have somebody there, they don't allow admins. What happens if they don't pay the ticket? They get points on their license or nobody does anything? Right, that's one of the things. Well, who writes the ticket? The town? An officer? Yeah, I believe an officer does. Also, so, in Guilford, when you pull up to Jacob's Beach, I don't know if you're familiar with mm -hmm. that area. There's a, there's a kid sitting there under an umbrella mm -hmm. on a little table, and he checks. From the town, he wants to put a sticker. If not, there's a fee. Yes. The thirty dollar fee to perform. Yes. Mm. yes. And that's Saybrook's the, the same. Exactly. So that's what I have here. Mm -hmm. Like a whole bunch of them, just to kind of like. See so you could avoid the whole towing and everything. They, if you pull in another sticker, you're going to get towed. You know. Right. So, exactly. Yep. Um, one of the things that like you probably, one of the things that we have to be careful of is that there was a the, there was a big lawsuit um, in 2001 between the town of Greenwich and mm -hmm. um, a somebody that was not allowed to use their beach. Because of that lawsuit, that's where we we can't say that you can't have access to the beach. Who won the lawsuit? Um, Clearly the person? The person that was, it was a jogger that wanted to, to jog on the beach and they wouldn't let them because they they weren't a resident. Is that separate from, I'm uh, pardon me for interrupting, separate no. from the New York residents that were attending the beach and then it was, a, it was a famous Janine Garofalo and her friends. There was that that initially started it. Yeah, I think that's part of it too. Right. I think that was in this um, in this article that I have. If I could, I knew you would recall that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this was um, so the kind of the highlighted section I had is the count, the town could not lawfully bar him solely because he is a non-resident. Um, the court added, it is clear that a town cannot broadly restrict non-resident access to a town beach, even if that property, in contrast to Greenwich Point, contains no other attractions or activities and therefore is used solely as a beach. You have to allow access to the beach. Can we make it $100 to, to get on the beach? That's a, one of the other things. You have to allow access, but you don't have to allow them to park. So, so they can be dropped question. off no. and go mm -hmm. use the beach. Where was this? Greenwich. So that's on that's on that's on Long Island Sound. No, Greenwich. Is it a Greenwich, Fairfield County, mm -hmm. Connecticut? Yeah, yeah. So Long Island Long Island Sound. Sound. yeah. Oh, so Long Island Sound. I so, thought you said Long so, Island. I'm so sorry. here, here rises an issue. Like this, the sound. 
anybody can get on anywhere, any beach, doesn't matter if there's a million dollar mansion as long as you're below the mean high tide line. Yeah. And that's where the access issue comes in because no one owns Tons the ocean. Water. So anything below the mean high tide line, you can be there whenever you want, no matter what anybody says, no matter where it is, as long as it's salt water. Now, I don't know that it's different on a pond or a lake where... It's, it's not because it's not private. It's not like a privately... Owned right, it's not private, but it's... Property. So, so we, we, we fall under these guidelines. But there are ways that people navigate mm -hmm. this. So because we have this, there are ways that people try to go yeah. solve a problem around it. You, so just, you we, just make it egregiously annoying to, to come. So that's... We have what East Hampton does, right? So they don't charge residents. Um, I think it's like a nominal fee if they do for a parking pass. So the dollar. Um, that's what it was online. Um, Michael Zaki said, because he's from East Hampton, um, but he's with Animal Control, he had mentioned something there about a fee, but I don't know what that is. It, that's not, it wasn't noted online, anything but this. So Old Lyme, um, parking pass, residents only, there's nothing for non-residents. You get it from the selectman's office. Um, How do they get away with that? I don't know. There's an application, um, proof of residency, that even residents have to complete an application and pay for a pass in Old Lyme. Um, old Sabra. Um, current driver's license or proof of residency with tax or utility bill to be checked against the current grand list, which I kind of like that. I like the grand list aspect of that. Obviously, you can't do that, like, at the gate. Like, that would be much. Mm -hmm. um, they charge $50 per car Monday through Thursday, $25 per car um, weekends and holidays, and $12 a day per motorcycle. That's for non-residents? Non-residents. Season pass for non-residents, $150. Good for one car. Um, so, somebody was telling me that the parking at Soundview this year is $75. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Soundview. Soundview is the one down oh, on the line. Right. Yeah, oh, seventy-five dollars to park at Soundview. East Line um, residents pay for a pass, and then non-residents forty dollars a week for a weekday pass, fifty dollars for weekend passes, one hundred and seventy-five for a season pass for non-residents. Hmm. Chester, Chester is what is really complicated. Mm -hmm. um, they allow like so many people per household, and then. Oh in, in Chester, and then after that, it's three dollars per person. And um, it looked like there was no daily pass, and it looked like there was a non resident park pass for $120. That did go down because when I did try to call for them, when because I used to live in Killingworth, yeah, um, it was $300. Okay, so. yep. And then where's their beach? Cedar Lake. Cedar Lake. Oh, yeah, right, Westbrook. Um, no parking pass needed for residents. They shall proof at the gate in the form of a tax bill or a piece of mail with Westbrook address and driver's license or photo ID. Forty dollars per day, and that's only sold at the gate for non-residents. One hundred and fifty dollars for seasonal for uh, two uh, stickers for two plates. Um, Cash or check for season pass. Cash only for daily. Marlboro. Marlboro's been a tricky one. Um, resident sticker for transportation and beach must be used. An application form with vehicle registration proof is their documentation that um, you do. I have their, um, I can pull up their um, I think. more specifics about them. They're a little tricky because I feel like people, um, I know my sister-in-law is running a, a, a 5K there, and she can't get a pass. She can get a pass to train, but it's very difficult to get. Um, and I don't believe that there's anything for non-residents. There's, like, nothing for non-residents that I can find. Uh, Clinton, um, $50 daily parking pass for non-residents during the weekday, 75 on the weekends for Clinton. And, and is that a one-shot deal, or that 75 is for a season? A day. A day. A day. Okay. So I feel like we have a couple of choices to make. One, A, continue as is. B, no fee for residents, parking permit for residents with ID and proof of residency, 
and non-residents can use a beach, but they can't park, kind of the East Hampton way, right? You can get access if you're, park you, off. If you don't want to park, but if you want to park, you can't come in. You Will they park, park on in. the road though? Yeah, they're gonna park on so the road. So then we the talked about so. getting street signs and patrolling the road. That's one. Um, option C, free permit for resident, and it would be, um, the one that we get for the, the dump, right? Mm -hmm. So we would, um, you'd get this, um, and, um, but in order to get this, and that's a whole other thing, is like how we actually execute this at the beach, right? But say, for instance, we do like, um, like down in Westbrook, they do a photo ID and tax form. They just let you in every time you have to do that. But we could do that where we get that information from you and then put this mm -hmm. on your windshield. Right. But it has to go on your windshield, windshield. right? Yeah. And it can't be something that you can, can hand off. It has to go right. on your windshield so we know, know it's there and it's not going anywhere. Um, and then a daily fee for non-residents. The trick with a daily fee, and I'm fine with it, but the daily fee, when we have to decide what we want that fee to be, um, and how does that affect the dog park? Because hmm. it's one thing, because like if I'm the person, because I'm going to be with these kids in the beginning, right? And you know, hopefully you guys, somebody here also you know can how, help me. You know how easy that is? You section off the parking lot. So then on the other end, there's a gate. If you go into the dog park, you park on the right. If beach, you go into the beach, park in the park dog park. park. Then, then we don't have to worry about the beach being crowded. So my only worry about is like with the non-resident <laughs> fee for a dog park. Like I can charge like whatever we say for the beach, but it's potentially hours as opposed to an hour at the dog park. Yeah, but why don't you just have the dog park included in it? Beach, dog, no, 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 would, and dog. That's park what we're saying. Yeah. It would be. I'm just saying, like, like if someone comes in from Glastonbury for whatever reason, if they were wanted to come down here and use a dog park, and I'd be like, it's forty dollars to use. To come in here like I'm just saying yeah. like right. that's but that's mm -hmm. one of the things we can do that's we have that's, to pay for that big pipe somehow yeah. <laughs> right I know right <laughs> and, and sadly that's the reality of the people that can't behave at the town beach making us make these decisions and the other option is um, an additional is the same as as kind of like what I have is C which is like free permit for residents daily fee for non-residents mm -hmm. Um, and do we want to add a seasonal um, pass option for non-residents? Now, are we going to are we going to have to hire someone to sit at the gate? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we have to hire someone mm -hmm. to sit at the gate. What's the pay? And the payment must has to be cash only. So, yes. So, so if someone pay ten bucks for the pass, right, or twenty bucks so, for the pass for the year, then that might cover. Right. A little bit I mean. Of, uh, no. Um, uh, I mean, and, and this is an example of like what I mean, this is um, Blish Park, like Blish Park, but they don't do um, non residents. So maybe this one. Is there oh, a limit to how many passes like you that. send out annually? Is there a limit to how many passes these towns put out, or is it? Some of them do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Some but this serve, is like, like an example of like the information you could get to get a seasonal pass. Mm -hmm. Car registration, tax bill, um, that, you know, and like you said, we would have like their license information, stuff like that, if you did it seasonal. I like the registration and a license better than a tax bill because I have my right. registration in my truck. I never have a tax right. bill. Yeah, so this was one thing that yeah. somebody brought up to me. Um, within the school system. They said that they always ask for a tax bill because they could actually, and I don't know if this is true or not because I've never done this before, but they said that somebody that doesn't live at their house could have their car registered with that address. Why would you do that in these had them though? I don't know. <laughs> so, but they're like in terms I, of I schooling and I think oh, there's somebody yeah. that mm -hmm. wants to come to school here, they, sh they check the tax 
bill as opposed to the registration. I don't know if we need to get that particular. I think you could really get into the weeds if you wanted to with different, yeah, I think I'll keep just, it as simple as you possibly right. can. I would say, I would say you, you keep it as simple as you simple. can, right. and, if, and if somebody slips through the cracks, that's not the one person. I mean, you're not worried about the one person. And I feel like the simple, the simpler allows us to implement it quicker mm -hmm. and kind mm -hmm. of nip this but, simple. So we're talking about, um, and obviously, like, I think we all, not we all, but I think um, a solution yesterday would be lovely, right? I think it's frustrating. Um, our goal date of this is around the 20th. And the reason the goal date is the 20th is um, the 20th is when the beach opens on mm -hmm. weekly. So it would kind of be maybe mm -hmm. like a soft opening kind of. Um, but more importantly, that weekend before is the weekend after high school graduation. And I have four seniors out of my five. And the staffing will yeah. be interesting that weekend to begin with. Mm -hmm. So I figure we'll start on that 20th. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, if that's something that we want to do. So I guess the first thing to determine is one, do we want to look at and put up a vote? Do we want to do a non-resident, um, address the non-resident portion of this? I think or do we, we want to continue as we're continuing. As we're I don't think now? we can continue as status quo. We have to make changes. I think we got to come up with something soon and post post mm -hmm. signs that parking permits are required as of this date. Give people some heads up because there's a lot of people that come in there from out of town, I'm sure, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, well, you know, plan to come week, uh, come come down here for a weekend," and now all of a sudden there's fees mm -hmm. and they don't know about it. Do you have that photo? I think I sent it to you, Craig. Yes, of an old line. Yeah. Can you, can you um, did you email it or did you? And do we actually? I think I texted it on Facebook. Yeah. Do we think a teenager is going to like enforce anything with the person coming in and saying, I don't know, permit them coming in or anything? Who's going to, who's going to help them? I wouldn't want my kid to be in the one at the gate. Yeah. Make a so that, that, that's my other thing. If you, if you have a, a situation where somebody is going to steal something, they're going to steal the kid's cash. That's what I'm, I'm a little worried about. Too. Box. I mean, um, I mean, I think they probably need to every bit, you know, every. So, couple hours mm -hmm. go to the beach building and lock it up in there right. in the office mm -hmm. um and then have somebody you know i think that's probably the best place is to lock it in there mm -hmm. and then i can get it you know i can get it and then make a deposit those go. are kind of the things that like we right. think because that was my worry just on the bottom it say non-residents parking fee thirty dollars a day mm -hmm. right at the bottom yeah. no permit Stop. required um, I did fifty dollars. <laughs> so then I know. So then, yeah. all right. So well, I mean, you know, listen, if you're going to pay the money, then you're going to respect it. Right. Right. That's right. Yeah. Right. Right. Money, right. You don't care. It's true. So then the trick is, how much do you charge? I don't think fifty bucks is unreasonable. Right. If you're going to bring a family down there, so then, have a safe place to enjoy the beach yeah. and the water. Why not? So, that beautiful, clean water. And once <laughs> <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Once yeah, you, right. people realize that they have to pay, you're going to weed out the ones mm -hmm. who are looking for a quick right. place to go. Right. Yeah. Right. So you'll get the people that the, the are going to respect. That want to come yep. Yeah. yeah, we'll definitely get a better caliber of people there. So we're they, thinking no seasonal? Or I think it's seasonal, like you're saying. If you have a good family or something, you know, like for $150. I think I think what you got yeah. I think right. what you got to do is you got to you got to set a price and then your seasonal rate will be based off three three trips to the beach. Mm -hmm. So if you're saying we're doing fifty dollars a day, seventy five days, hundred dollars a day, so your seasonal fee is just three visits and everything after that is already paid in full. So what are the thoughts about like how much per day? Is of just trying to think of what's easy for change. Not that that's the mm -hmm. the end all be all, but I'm like does. My concern. 20, 40, 50, what makes, go ahead. Don't, no, it's my concern more is who's going to, you're going to have a kid sitting at the, That's what I'm collecting concerned. money with what's going on. That kid's going to have a now, really nice car this summer. This is not going to be, <laughs> so this, I, I don't recommend that at all. So this is my thought on it. Obviously the first couple things. One, that's where we come in. One, I'm going to be there. Um, to start, mm. and I don't know if anyone. I know I'm really threatened. On the weekends, uh, you're gonna be there. I, I was weekend. just gonna um, say, with all you do, you're now gonna, gonna add on. Uh -huh. You're now gonna add on being there on a Saturday. Oh, sorry. Better pay <laughs> because I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is this is the thing that 
you, you know, the world's in, uh, not a nice place right now. Right. And, yeah. and you work enough. Yeah. And so, to, so to you just say it because you're nice, saying, I'm going to go there Saturdays and Sundays, I think as a board we should say no to that. Mm -hmm. You work too many hours as Second it is. Best. Yeah. So I think that's out. I really do. Okay. I don't think you need but to. Like an you're doing enough. Put a camera up. I mean, can you get a police presence like initially to be there for? We talked about that initially. Uh, can you sign up online ahead of time for a week? Who who collects money at all these other beaches? Teenagers. Like yeah. Yeah, like That's who does it. They sit in a booth and they collect that money. Drop box that you can put in a shed with the kids. So as soon as they take the money, they drop it right in so they don't have cash on hand. I think initially they also have to be able to make the change. Well, yeah, you have a limited amount. But I, I just think I mean, I, 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 mean, I just think the stuff you're going to put yeah. up with, yeah. with people pulling in, not expecting it. I think initially, yeah. It's going to be rough. Everybody's used to it being free and open. You're going to need a police presence. Initially. For the first couple of weeks. Or I don't know if, like, if yeah, right. Even at the commission, Uber. if Uber we can going? each take like a two-hour, three-hour, I could do like, that. Volunteer mm -hmm. the first oh, wait, week or two um, to do it. Um, I have um, I have put out feelers to a couple of kids, well, I mean, here's... and I he doesn't really know it. Well, he kind of knows it, but I have um, an adult that just retired um, that was his sister stuff. So I'm like wondering mm -hmm. if I can. Get him to, the, you know, help. The people we're trying to weed out of the beach are the people that don't respect authority. So no matter who's there in plain clothes saying, I'm here representing mm -hmm. Park and Rec in East Haddam, Connecticut, they're going to go, eh, you, and they might throw something at you. Mm -hmm. They might take a swing at you. They might damage cars on the way out. Mm -hmm. We're not the people that need to enforce the rules we make. Mm -hmm. Even though we want to, it's not our job. Mm -hmm. I'm a parent. I got to work. I'm not going to go to the beach and have some dumbass take right. a swing at me and right. then figure out what I got to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm old enough to I say don't I don't want to get involved in that. Either. You don't want to get involved in that. Right. You don't want to get involved in that. Carl work weekends. I mean, there's, there's got to be. It's got. It's got to be as simple as the kids that have this job, even though it's a scary thought that something bad could happen, they take the money. If the people don't want to pay. They call the police. Mm -hmm. Those people go in the beach. If they're dumb enough to go into the beach, the people that are going to enforce these rules will be there shortly. That's all you got to say. Okay, have a nice day. Enjoy the beach. Do do mm -hmm. do 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 do. And that's it. They yeah. don't. They don't. They don't they'll confront anybody. Push. They don't. Con right. Yeah, they don't engage. They don't mm -hmm. confront. They just make a phone call. Yeah. And it's that Great simple. And description. Yeah. 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 You can. You can, well, if you well, want. Yeah. If you want, you can write down a license plate. Take your phone out. Take pictures. Record the whole that was thing. Part of it too is like making sure that that we that we go over that with them, yeah. right? That that, that, that whoever's doing that is fully they'll, aware of that. They'll, they'll need they'll need an hour between you and 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 Carl or whoever our officer is to explain to them how to handle this situation the right way. And here's a direct phone number to the people that are going to show up first. And it's right there, available for them on whatever they're they're holding it in their phones. Give, it, that give whoever's on that post a phone, yeah. a town phone, a cell phone. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. I still think yeah, it there's be no good service to there, have, is there? Um, <laughs> police yeah, there at the beginning. The service down there. Well, you, I mean, the, the the element that shows up at the beach that you don't want there is fair. maybe two or three extra people a night. It's not like you got fifty or sixty out of towners that are showing up to the town beach, but. The people that do show up, it's like you said, they're they got the fires going, they got a bracelet loud music going, they're stealing eight year olds' bags, broken you know, glass. broken glass. They are, they don't, dogs on leash. yeah, right. dogs on leash, whatever it is. The, and, and here's the thing whether we like it or not, law enforcement needs to step up and do their responsibilities to the town that we're paying them for, and it's that simple. They don't have to be there, they can just respond. That's their job, just respond. So if it happens, we can talk. Especially if we have like this, like not tomorrow, right? But we have the twentieth, Irene. If we have like that, that we can maybe work on. All right, we know that if we're going to kind of have to hit it hard in the beginning mm -hmm. to really get the message across and make sure you know that we have a system. And that's when you need the police there those and first we couple of weekends. And if we can schedule with them that those first two weekends, and especially to really be available. Yeah, I mean, as long as there's not, you know, you know what, hitting the fan somewhere else in town, you can certainly answer a call when somebody's being a problem. Does Troop K help? Is that somebody, 
But Troop K takes back. over when we're off duty. Right. Yeah. Supposedly. And not, you know, and, and be belligerent. They're, you know, like, like he said, let the person go park, let them go to the beach, and then when the police officer gets there, because he's working on something else on the other side of town, yep. if he gets there in 15 minutes, if he gets there in a half an hour, it doesn't matter. And if he doesn't it's get there, don't worry issue, about it. Unless the guy is like being, or the yeah, gal is being totally belligerent, you know, in that particular case, then, you know, it's obviously more of an emergency situation. But it's not an emergency if somebody's parking there and it's, that's technically at this point trespassing. And that's what our police officers have said, is that if we turn the parking lot into resident-only parking, then that person who's parking there, who's not a resident, and now has been told that you have to leave, you can't park your car here, that person is technically trespassing. So that person can be given a trespassing ticket and be asked to leave. And that can happen in a half an hour, that can happen in an hour, right. depending yeah. on what else is happening. So it's not a big deal, it's not something that it would be emergency, but they are certainly available to be able to go take care of that. Is the park is the parking lot there part of like the police route? Do they do they go through like once an hour, once every two hours? Go there well, we have them on heightened alert because of what's the going on in town right now. Anyway, um, they for a while were um, um, looking at um, Nichols, mm -hmm. so they were patrolling over at Nichols as well. At, you know, at, when we had Nichols issues, so yes, they're available to to do those things. I mean, it's a big town. And we basically have one police officer on yeah. all shifts, but we don't have a lot of police officers, but um, we can certainly make sure that they run through. They're also going to be running through now at night. Like once it's dusk and that park closes, you know, an hour later, they're going to swing over there to see if the tent's still there. Because I think the tent that everybody keeps hearing about is somebody who sets it up during the day to have shade. They're not there overnight. I know somebody who drove by there at 6 a.m. the other morning on the weekend and they weren't there at 6 a.m. in the morning. So it's a thing that people are doing during the day to you know, have a sun, you know, sunshade area of some kind. Um, but they still shouldn't be setting it up on that strip mm -hmm. of grass that's there. It's just for benches and just sitting there. So you know, there's still stuff that we can patrol and tell people that, look, it's on the sign. It says you can't see these things. Can we put a gate in the parking lot? I think there used one. to be a gate. Is there a gate that gets closed right at night, though? There used to be. Mm -hmm. there used to be. It used to be a gate. The problem is, is that now we have a dog park over there. And, and, so we have to let people into the dog and, park. And honestly, our solution doesn't have to be 100%. Yeah. You know? It's just got to work the majority of the time. It's got to be a deterrent. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, I think the is. initial start of it is going to be the hardest part. And then once people get used to it, they're not going to even bother coming here. Right. They're going to know. And, 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 signs go up on yeah. Yeah. yeah, start. Yeah, yeah, signs have to yes. go up. Yes. There are the signs time. already, I think, aren't there? Yep. All right, so What's the season? What's the season? I mean, a parking permit's required all year long? Or is there a season, like, for the summertime because of the beach? I think you have park hours, like this sign says. You know? But is that all year long? Yeah, more day to Labor Day. What or if people want to go ice fishing? But nobody cares about using the beach. I think, like, I'm just you know, asking. April through October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the winters, who cares, right? Mm. Well, I think those two major holidays are the, the real mm -hmm. key ticket. Mm. Yeah. Just like everywhere else. And everyone's <laughs> going to learn the loopholes, you know? Yeah, I'll have to look and see. I think yeah. Yeah. I hate to reinvent the wheel. Right. I think What's Westbrook it? is Memorial yeah. Day to Labor Day. Yeah, yeah. I think mm -hmm. something like that. Because that's when we're going to have staff, too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, and not only that, but that's that's when people will be going to the beach. Right. Who cares? Who cares if ten people go to the you know Hammond Asset in November to walk on the? Who cares? Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, kids in the in we'll January. Yeah. Right. <laughs> What's that? First time this thing blew up on Facebook, it was before Memorial Day. Yeah. Well, that's just. I mean, this has been. But we also we we also have not had something in place, and it's not it's not just that it happened that day; it's that it's been building mm -hmm. up, and everyone's been watching and looking and being attentive to the situation. And now, as soon as something happens, you mm -hmm. know, the volcano goes off. Yeah. So, what happens when the farm stand next door starts selling parking passes for five dollars, and people can now walk in? But it's always a possibility. Yeah, think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think re no, no, no. Here's some other people. Here's my argument. Residents, you don't pay extra for the dump. You don't pay extra. It's already in your town taxes. Residents are you the ones that would want to use it. Well, they'll hire. They'll get that budget for those guys sitting there, kids sitting there, and yeah. yeah, but we're not. I mean, I have, so our, our special revenue fund, we have $99,000 in the special revenue fund. I'll do it for so, 
I mean, that's, that's not ideally how I want to spend it, but maybe there'll be an offer that from people that do come to the beach. And, you got ninety nine. Um, yeah, where's that money going to go? Meetings aren't catered. Not catered. I think it's donuts. <laughs> Where's the money that gets collected from non-residents going to go? Is that in the general fund, or would that go back into our budget? Of course. I would think it would go to this position. Like, mm. so yeah, to pay whoever That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's right. got to be earmarked for it. I'm right. Yeah. yeah, and whenever we do anything, like, I can ask to an account, like, for, like, if I have something that's bought for camp that goes under camp or goes under, you know, um, Peace Center. Yeah, I just, I'll, we'll just have to create a line for you know, yeah. something separate that we know that this is what it goes. Like music on the river has a separate thing. Yeah. So I guess um, the idea next, though, is like what what's the number that you guys want to do? Because I'm sure. thinking, so this is my reasoning behind like 20 or 40, and I know yeah. 20 is low. Yeah. But it's, there's not a lot of change. Is it like you have... I think keeping it with 220s is easier. Mm -hmm. than right. Yeah. 50. So, right. 50. Right. Right. Well, let's not make it cheap and make it 60. 33. Because the whole idea is to not get people to go. It's to kind of weed out the mm -hmm. people you don't want. That's why we're doing this. To weed out the thieves well, and the people point. playing loud, abrasive music. It's something and, where you just said non-residents can't park there. You might do that weeding out without charging income. But then that opens us up to the oh not park okay yeah it's just parking it's like bucks. It's just it's just town property is town there parking property. on that outside that the outside the, none you cannot park that. on that causeway but they do right if it's as if it's as easy as saying if it's easy as putting up a sign that says resident parking only right then the only question left is who enforces that and at what point same thing that you've been talking. You still are going to have to have an attendant there, mm -hmm. right? And they're still going to have to say, "I'm sorry, you don't have it." But what we will do, how do you, is we can give out those parking passes yeah. at the town beach for yeah. those who show proof of residency. Here's your sticker. Watch the person put it on. We don't. Shield. We don't have to hire. Well, it's, so you'd have to hire one attendant. We have to hire two. We're going to have to have two people yeah. because it's if it's ten to five Monday through. Sunday, it's 49 hours. Well, one, we'll one, one, one attendant a day. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll take the lifeguard off the chairs and put them Well, that, when there's a life, when the lifeguards are there, yeah. during the middle of the day, there's a two-hour period where there's three. Okay. Um, so that person could come and help out, too. Right. If it was really quiet, like a really quiet day, maybe one of them could come down. But, and but you, can't you, you can't guarantee that. You can't guarantee that. That's it. No. Yeah. You can't. That's so a you, wasting that resource, too. I mean, the lifeguards are hard to get. Someone to mm -hmm. sit in a chair is how, not. How often do you think the police officer would go through there? If he goes through, instead of putting an attendant out there and he sees you don't have a sticker, he can handle it and we don't have someone having to deal with it. How often do you think they can go through there? That, because if you're going for the day, you're going for hours, right? So if they can go through so many hours and go through the parking lot, see who has the sticker and take care of it, you don't have an attendant. You don't have possible conflicks. How often yeah, would they go through? Yeah, we could check with the police officers and see if they can go like between ten and noon and two and four, and then the next shift can come through at five o'clock. You know, yeah, it's just hard because I can the beach trying to find a person. No, just look at the if, cars if, for stickers. If there's if we report that there's well, someone that's got a resident come parking anyway. only, just write a ticket oh, and then write a ticket. If well, yeah. how are they going to get their sticker then? And how are you going to get them off the beach? I know. That doesn't solve the problem it's much of people easier. stealing things. It, but we just but we said if we're not gonna stop someone from going by, right? I don't care, I'm gonna go anyway. Not a cop now you're gonna call the cops. So but now, they're on the beach anyway. There's nobody there, yeah. They're so, going in regardless. Regardless. Yeah. At least there's someone there to deter you. It's much easier to turn someone yeah. away than it is to find them. I didn't and, and them. my only concern yeah, is I'm sure you. it'll be worked out. I'm I'm I think in the beginning. Is that Sunday? Like, I called on Sunday press. for help for something, oh, and there was press. nobody on mm -hmm. staff. Like, we didn't have a town person on staff on Sunday when we had it, had an issue. Not at the beach, but someplace else. Was that a, calling a direct line or a 911 line? Um, I, I texted them directly, and then I had to call Troop K, a non-emergency, and they still didn't send up anybody over. <laughs> and because if it goes the way you're, you know, if it does, you do charge a fee, and somebody comes in and threatens a kid, that's a 911 call. That's not right. a mm -hmm. call the main line. And right, 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 right of course. Whatever. 
um, so that there has to be some sort of distinction on, on how a kid handles that, you know, the first time. Mm -hmm. Avoid conflict, let them go to the beach, and then call the police. Well, there should be a video. camera. Pointing, like, right at the booth, booth that they have. Like, that's at any license plate. Well, we'll go. In this day and age, causes conflict. If they mm -hmm. drive by you and you walk over and you start taking pictures of yeah, the license plate. Yeah, that's it. Plate, just let them get to I, the beach. I just, you know what, I had an experience that was horrible. And it was completely unrelated to somebody that was clearly of not right mind. And I was with a building manager, so my old office. And I thought we were dead. I literally was trying to drag my building manager back in the building because you just don't know. Yeah. And we never, we never, we weren't talking about anything. We were talking about our private parking lot where we were parking employees' cars. It was completely unprovoked. You just don't know. Mm -hmm. You just don't know. How about like a parking garage gate with a toll thing and you pay a little thing <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. go in, you know? That would be dreamy, but yeah. kind of pricey. A little pricey. Well, just don't argue, that's all. Right. Yeah, just on the page. And and call police. Call the police and let them handle it. That's their job. I think a big deterrent, though, is money. I do, too. I think the co I think cost, mm -hmm. uh, if you make things, uh, you know, cost prohibitive to those that are looking to take advantage of, of a place like the beach, mm -hmm. then I think that cost will, will weed them out. And I think if you can show you know, initially, that you're going to enforce your policy. All those people that have been taking advantage of it for all these years and telling mm -hmm. their friends are going to say, well, crap, we can't go there yeah, anymore. stop going. You know? Uh, parking fee. Yeah, well, that's what you, yeah. you just get that. You just get that $60, whatever that even number is that they can. That pass, that really Is there any pass. power there? Like you put a little booth at the entrance. Is there any electricity there where you can put a camera so that they could see that they're on so camera and record it? No, you don't even have to have power. Just put the camera up. Yeah, and a sign that says under surveillance. There's, there's no, hmm? no power or Wi-Fi there. Correct. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's power over at the beach. Yeah, but, um, but we don't have yeah. we have specific cameras over there because we don't have Wi-Fi yep. that we have to use. The cell phone service. Cell phone service. Yeah. I Depending think. On, on your carrier. I think. I think the honest truth is we're trying to just get too high tech ahead of ourselves. The real issue is if you have someone causing an issue, you call the police. Mm -hmm. You have your policy, you have your price, yeah. and you're just a phone call away from enforcement. Except on Sundays when Lisa needed somebody. <laughs> and you call 911. <laughs> That's, yeah. And it wasn't a big, it wasn't a huge deal, but it was just yeah. like, yeah. Right, like, um, I mean, is it gonna be, are they gonna be like, like, 2K, like, seriously, somebody just came in and doesn't want to pay for their beach pass, like, is that gonna, like, be their priority, right? Nope. No, but if they're threatening a child. Or yeah. Person. Yeah. What if we give the parking attendant a boot they could put on the car? I know. I thought about that. Oh, yeah. I thought about yeah, it. The picture, he yeah. <laughs> you know, mess with someone's car. <laughs> I didn't think of it though. Alright, so if we if you how many people prefer a fee as opposed to just parking? So fee, who wants a fee? A fee for a non resident, resident. Non -resident. Non -resident. Non -resident. Non -resident. fee. Parking fee. Yeah, yeah. non-resident. We don't want that. Okay, all right, so that's where we're at. Now I gotta come up with a number. Six mm -hmm. number different during the week as opposed to the weekend, or is it one number that's it? One number. One number that's one number. it. That way our sign doesn't get expensive. During the week. <laughs> Four, <laughs> 40 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. 60 bucks. Yeah. I say 40. Yes. I mean, I'm looking at all these other ones. 40, 40 seems on par with the other ones. I say yeah, 40. 40. <laughs> Per day. Now I say 75. Yeah. All right, so then if 40 the next per day, level. then do 40 per day. So 40 per day. Clear water. If you want a seasonal pass as a non resident, it's gotta be one is an option, or two, I think that has to be something that's done like ahead of time. Why do we need a seasonal pass? No. Yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to. No. Yeah. Some other stuff. no, keep it simple, like you said. Yeah. Or yeah. have them do a seasonal pass through the online system. Do you think with you should credit have card. Them. You can't buy seasonal yeah. passes on site. You can buy them ahead. Every what? Yeah. Online. I think the honest truth is you're willing to spend $40 to go to the East Haddam right. Town Beach. Have at it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too, but we love this so much we bought a pool and now I don't have to go there anymore. <laughs> it is. It's beautiful. 
beautiful. And I feel like it's one of those gems that we do have, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We want to take care of it. It is beautiful. Even though you show up home orange. Uh, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Forty dollars. Fifty dollars, you get a little thing of bleach to wash your bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 40% is no seasonal at nope. this point. We can no, revisit that. See. Right. see if people start asking for it. If people start requesting it, maybe it's something worth visiting, but revisiting. Yeah, but I think it's And when they come to, to get their, um, like a resident, to get their pass, they'll either, they have to show their license. Mm -hmm. If their license doesn't have their address on it for whatever reason, say they they live in New York and they have property here, mm -hmm. and then they have to, uh, in addition to that, show us their. I think you can do an bill. and or a tax bill and or vehicle okay. registration. Really well, I yeah. think it has to have a picture, a face mm -hmm. to the document. Oh yeah, so, your driver's so license, photo ID, and photo ID, a, right. and electrical and bill, cable and bill, and, and one of yeah. and one of three acceptable methods of approving your residency, whatever so they are. That. And then we can have. Tip stickers available there mm -hmm. that they'll put right on. Right on. And then I can have some in my office. I just, with summer, I'm just a little crazy. My I'm schedule this summer. Too, right? oh. um, the, can the, can the, the, can the well. town clerk come see the town clerk? No? <laughs> no. Isn't that who you see for everything else? <laughs> no, well, the attendant will watch you put the sticker on the inside of the car, just like mm -hmm. they do at the dump. Right. Yeah. So that the Sticker is no, they they don't they don't do that to dump. I haven't had a sticker on my truck. I in haven't had one either in five <laughs> years. <laughs> so, no, I I have it. I have it in my truck, but I I told I said I don't I don't, I don't like stickers on my windows. Does it say transfer? It does say transfer station. So we're talking about in the future we'll make it a more generic like East Haddam facilities. Yeah, something like that. Ooh, inclusive. Are those given out annually? Not once. You can see a collector's item when these are yeah, open, right? Yeah. When you go to the dump. Can I get one? I don't have <laughs> one. None of us have probably, one. You're probably going to give out yeah. 30 stickers between now and yeah. the middle of June. Yeah. 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 When, I, when, I, when I used to go, you'd see the same six people. Yeah. And then maybe someone new every once in a while. So it's not, it's not a creep. I mean, I'm just, but I would always go at like 6 at night till yeah. sunset. And so there's the same crew. You could probably use this for the tennis court, too. Actually, so I mean, a lot of town are using the skate park too. Yeah. Which is a problem. So, mm -hmm. um, but pickleball, like I have, I have to defend my pickleball, like out of towners. Yeah. The only reason we have pickleball here yeah. is because they helped us. Like they brought it and taught us how to play. I know, kick them out. <laughs> I mean, they came and I had to play. Like, in order to have enough, I had to play. So if it gets to that point, though, you're right. If it gets to that place. It gets crazy, right? I mean, if it gets crazy, right, we can do that, absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of pickleball people. Mm-hmm. Lake Hayward's got a pretty prolific pickleball crew. You should have a tournament. Do they? I know Peter, first beach? Peter, who did the, the courts up there, mm -hmm. was down here the other day. Yeah. All right. So, so we need to make them up. We need because it says a German is number eight, uh, and that's my that's and that's that that's my bag. Sure. So we need someone to make a motion, right? Yes. Well, I don't know. Did to to you guys know? charge non-residents a forty dollars fee to. They all set. Uh, we think you guys did great. So. Yeah, all right. Well, then just... I, I'll move to make a forty dollars daily non-resident parking fee at the town beach. Okay. So I have a motion. I need a second. A second. That. Second. I say. Any further discussion? And I think the only God, thing. I hope I, not. I think the only thing is we gotta if we have to make an adaptation or mold our you know if we need a seasonal pass in we the future change, yeah, we can just change it. We, we don't we don't know what's in the water yet good eagle scout project all right uh so i have a motion i have a second any further discussion one more thing so if it's a parking <laughs> fee sorry oh, go ahead if, 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 so i want to understand so if it's a parking fee they can effectively park on the street no, there'll be signs. No, you have to use the parking lot. Unless they're going to be towed. So you guys are going to have pay the, in that, you guys are going to actually pay the cost of signs, no parking signs. That's a lot of dough. No. Cardboard and a marker. We'll probably here. still have them. They were taken down. Okay. They do disappear. I don't know why, I don't know why the parking on the town, that's not DOT's responsibility. 
Why is that park and rec to tell people not to park on the road? No, it's it, no, it's coming from the town. Yeah, yeah. that's not yeah, our that's, no, that's, that's not right. us. Yeah, no. that's just them doing what they're supposed to do. But it's preempting the idea right. that right. people are going to try to, so nope. we have to notify yep. them that they can't. Yeah, that's so not, not us. As a parking fee, as opposed to a daily use fee. Yeah. yeah. Right. And and uh, because we're not charging for the use of the town beach, we can't parking. do that. Right. So we just have to let our, it's not Beth no, anymore, who's in charge of. You just can't make it so exorbitant if you read the rest of the suit. You can't yeah. make it so they can't right. if they can. But you can still charge. Like I said, it's just a deterrent. So we'll, we can if charge it works, a daily parking fee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything is better than the nothing we have at the moment. That's right. And we'll see what happens. Right. Once we get on the list that you can't be here for right. free, that mm -hmm. people will stop. So I have a motion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like yeah. to. I'll second my motion. What? Yes. I have a second. <laughs> second All that. Those in There's favor. no more further discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 I actually was going to oppose. Uh, any abstentions? Okay. Can we ask why? Yeah, Concerns? because I don't have a good feeling of who's going to collect this, and I don't feel good about it. Hmm. The fee, I have no problem with. I have a problem with who you're going to put. I didn't like telling people at basketball mm -hmm. when they didn't have a mask, and I'm in my 60s, and I had shit come at me. I'm not putting a kid in that position, oh. so that's why I'm opposing. So if we had a, a clear-cut way to do it that I felt good about, I would say absolutely. I don't feel we do, well, and I, I don't want to put Just because we have a motion that will have a fee doesn't mean we've figured out how it's going to happen yet. It has to get that's right. To do it. And we have to have police officers there, and it may be more than just two weeks. Right. Maybe they're there in the beginning, and that's just the reality. I mean, again, I you know, I tried to get how often can they be there. You know, East Haddam's huge, mm -hmm. and we have one guy. But the funny thing is, in East Haddam, no matter how big we are, there's only three or four places where people congregate. I'm just saying, they're going to, I wonder if the police are going to go, yeah, I have no problem sitting there on a Saturday for three hours. You don't have to. And that's just the, has um, to drive by again. Just has to. I, we're not. I'm not I don't want to get into an argument. All I'm saying is, is I don't feel good, call. so I have the option to oppose. Right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have the vote. So, and again, I'm happy. I just hope. It I works understand out that your way. concern. It's totally. good. It's good to know the concern. Otherwise, it'll never be addressed. Right. Right. So, so I have. think something to um, to think about to moving forward is once we have maybe I'll send out like a. I know some of you may not want to be comfortable doing it, but I know that I'm going to be there with a kid, if it's a kid, on their first couple of rounds to be there. I'll, be, um, I'll with go them. with you. Um, well, Barbara, what do you, you got things to do? Just to like kind of navigate oh, them through Almost. the confrontation, how to avoid it, how to de-escalate it, or if it is... Definitely should be like um, a handbook of how to not... Yeah, maybe I should start teach de-escalation. Well, yeah. 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 Um, and yeah. then um, I have I have someone that I want to see if I can get them to step in for a little and while. And I guess but what you really got, you got to ask the police officers, what's your availability? What can you act, not, don't ask, you know, ask the police officers, what can you actually do? Can yeah. you run down to the office one day when they're there and just yeah, say, this I is our plan? What so, do you think? Yes, I think I can do that. And I think especially, um, I'm, I'm confident like Fridays aren't, I mean, it's one day of the week, right? I know Fridays, I think I'm pretty confident it won't be because I'll have Officer Southworth is at camp a lot, and camp is going to be at the beach on Fridays. Um, I mean, who, what do our school officers do during the summer? Officer Southworth. That's yeah, I was going to say, I mean, anywhere, just ask I'll them if they're willing to. With him on it too. So, again, it's going to be, it's not going to be a perfect system, but in your, to be with you on that, like, if it's a kid, like, these are my kids. Like, when, when they mm -hmm. work with us, they're my babies. Mm -hmm. So, like, it'll, I might not be working on Monday or Tuesday because I might be there on the weekend with my babies. So, mm -hmm. it it's just got to work most of the time. Can, when do we plan on implementing this? June 20th. Can you um, email us what, like, what we're going to do? Like, who you got, or like age, or mm -hmm. something like that. Just, uh, 
where's the scary kids that were seniors when I was in middle school? Like, where's John Schmidberger and all these guys? Like, in high school now, like the big six footers with mustaches, where are they? They're not lifeguards? Just like, I, I just asked to keep us abreast of what, what's how the conversation going with the police, too, and all that, and what they're saying as well. All right, motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Uh, I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye, I'm sure. Aye. Aye. Thank you, folks. All right. Thank you. Yep, yep. Now we got to go home. I wonder who's kid one. I don't know. Steph, Steph, Steph told me that Ava ripped a double and then scored. She can give you the score? Thank you for coming. I'm not joking. I pulled it out. It's in the car, and I didn't bring it in.